widespread behind the scenes interviews. Anthony, take one. How's it going? My name is Anthony and I'm the writer and the director for this film, Widespread. The reason I made this film is because I want to show people what it could possibly be like in like three, five years from now. Because it is scary what's going on at the moment. And, and I wanted to base it in 2020 and what could happen like three years down the line. So that's why I kind of wanted. And I don't think that a lot of people are making these type of films because they're, they're afraid. I think they're afraid to make these type of films in case they offend people or, you know, or they just, they just do something that people won't like. And I, I think we need to, I think we need to expand and do that kind of so dangerous work, really, uh, creating stuff that's not supposed to be made. Hello, so we're about to film Carl's parts with the mother. Hi, my name is Carl O'Reilly and I play the main character, Shane O'Neill. What I had to do to prepare for this role is that I usually read the script every day and uh, keep learning my lines, go over with my friends, ask my friends to help me every day just to get the right like, set so I know exactly what I'm doing. What sandwich? Get that. Yeah. Um. Oh, no, we will not be We can sit you down now and we can get, the, we can get uh, Craig to do that voiceover now. Okay. Yeah, so we just need to do one more voiceover. Uh, we should, we're just going to sit uh, D down here and we're just going to get them to do the voiceover. I just, say, just bring it into that room. Yeah, we're bringing, we're bringing can you look at this for a sec? What's on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Right, so this is yours. Okay. That's yours for filming your film. Nice. And then this is yours. Ah. I yep. an Oscar. <laughs> and then ah. this as well. So that's Thank yours you. for doing something you have to work with the Dream Factory production. Nice. Thank you, sir. How do you feel, Carol? I feel very proud. Because it's all done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank so, Dave, what did you have to do to prepare for this movie? Well, I had to purchase lots of breathing exercises, one that, ones that actually sort of like, you know, made me have bad breathing techniques because uh, I was very ill mum in this movie. We're just getting behind the scenes as well. Do you want to talk a little bit, Sarah, about the makeup? Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Just say what you've done. <laughs> what did you do? Well, the character is supposed to look very sick and she needed to be pale, with sunken in eyes and darker red eyeliner to make her look more sick. It's a tiny drop of blood in her nose because she's supposed to have respiratory disease or something to do with the lungs, so she's coughing up blood. Mm. So has come out somewhere as well. Mm. And then veins on the hands and just make her look more sick. Yeah. Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm the makeup artist for the production of Widespread. What did you have to do to prepare for the makeup? Well, I had never done a makeup for someone to make them look sick before, so I went onto YouTube and actually looked at a few videos to get some ideas. I had some tips already from the course I did with makeup and I took a lot of it from the old age makeup that I did but I altered it instead of having wrinkles and ha just did the rest of it basically with adding some veins in the hands making them look paler dark deep in the, in the, around the eyes red eyeliner basically that was it and then just making the contour more of an ash kind of grey tone the bays. Say hi, James. Hi, my name's James Byrne, and I was assistant director on this production called Widespread. What did your role involve? Um, I was just basically making sure everyone was keeping up to schedule and doing their parts, and making sure the likes of Carl and Dee were running over their lines and. Also, making sure everyone was keeping to health and safety regulations. Hi, I'm Nicola. Uh, I was a producer on Widespread. So Nicola, what was uh, your experience doing this film? 
Um, I had a great experience doing this film and getting to work with everyone involved. Um, I felt like everyone was really professional on set as well. And um, I think a lot of people developed their skills and experience over these few days. Why who made a mistake? It was I who made a mistake. It was I who was the fool. John, you the table? It was I, Lord. No. Hello, my name is Craig Johnston. I am the cinematographer on the Widespread Project, uh, brought to you by Dream Factory Productions. What kind of, equi of equipment did you have to use for this production? Um, I use my own equipment, since it is a no-budget short film. I use my own camera and a contemporary uh, consumer lens. Uh, which I think actually added to the feel of the film. Uh, since the film is a very contemporary story, it is a very real story, I just thought that using what we have around us takes it out of the cinematic light and puts it into a more real and raw light. Um, we're shooting on video, uh, standard 4K, so the same quality you do see on YouTube with content creators and the same quality you see on Instagram or Facebook. So using that quality and that image and that picture brings it closer to home to the people most affected by a pandemic, which are the people staying at home and are constantly watching all of this content online. So it, it kind of makes you realize the threats and fears that may exist for such a situation. And when people watch this, they will see that oh, oh no, if we don't get our act together, this is something that could happen. And it will go from being a slight... It will, it, will, it, yeah. it will go from being a slight inconvenience to a, a pseudo-hellscape that we have no control over. Um, so the introduction of martial law, scavengers, looting, rioting, that if we don't get this pandemic under control, it could escalate. Hi, my name is Greg Young and I'm a sound operator and I play the Irish scavenger in Widespread. I had a great experience working with uh, Dream Factory Productions on, uh, on Widespread. I had such a great time on set and I got to work with uh, Bobby Calloway who's one of my best friends and closest collaborators. And for first time, got to work with um, with James, with Anthony, and with Sarah. Finally, um, what was it like walking beside Carl um, for his first time uh, acting in a film? It was great working alongside Carl, and I thought he was very impressive for his uh, for his first kind of outing to acting. And I was really, really impressed over the two days I worked with him, like how how much he's already gotten the grip on how to get into the reality and the mind space for characters pretty, uh, pretty quickly. I think he's a great instinctual actor and he's got a lot up and coming for him. Ready? She's gonna tell you that, like, that thing you hands yeah. yeah. I just finished coughing, will I just finish coughing? Yeah, yeah. 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 Sound file zero zero twenty-three. Slide seven B and take one. When you wrote it, did you have Carl in mind to start for the I didn't. I actually wrote this and I was going to get either James to star in it. Um but I decided that do you know what what happens if we put a kid in it and how it affects a kid and his his life around uh, this virus. So that's when I asked Carl um, would he like, be interested in playing the main character and he, and he said yeah. So I think that the movie would have came out, it came out a lot better if I went to cast it Carl instead of James. What was your experience for your first time doing the film and you being the star of it? It was very interesting actually because I've never done anything like this before. So this is something to start off my career of acting. So. Global warming. Global. Global warming. Who would you rate this experience? Was it professional? Was it up to your standards? Um, I think everyone played their part and everyone was quite professional. It was my first time working on a production behind the scenes. Usually I'm the one in front of the camera with a pretty face like that. Uh, but now everyone was very professional. 
everyone was doing what they were supposed to be doing when they were supposed to be doing it and I'm actually starting to enjoy working behind the camera a bit more um, especially I was helping Greg with the sound and everything like that it was a different experience but I quite enjoyed it I think this is a great jumping off platform for this fabulous young dynamic production team I'm so delighted to be on set with them and I just think they did an amazing job and uh, so professional and gosh I hope for me I hope it's the start of a journey for me with them Please say more of your experience of uh, working on the film itself. Well, the makeup artist was brilliant. I mean, the minute that they put the makeup on me as a woman who's very ill with a respiratory disease, I actually felt like I had one once I took a look at myself in the mirror. So that was like tick number one. What was it like working on set with the special effects? It was actually pretty fun. It was the first time that I've been on set using blood, but it had its ups and downs. Well, in the end, it, it's going to look brilliant in the film. The uh, sound, lighting just absolutely flowed. Um, the camera work was amazing, just like I felt like there wasn't a camera in the room. How did you feel the acting came through on camera? I was very lucky to work with two great talents, um, Deirdre and Carol. I was very lucky to work with uh, two other great talents, Bobby and Greg, the other day. Uh, today's shoot went very, very well, incredibly emotional uh, from both parts. Um, I was very lucky to have uh, individuals who look great on camera and I used the lighting, I used practical lighting on set and I also used some of my own lights to get the look needed to help Sarah's makeup, to get the sickly look also compliments Carl's skin tone as the healthy individual in the scene. Um, I was very happy with how the image came out and I was very happy about the comfort of uh, both actors on screen, especially Carl. This is his debut short film, his debut role acting. So I'm very, very proud of him for coming this far in such a short time. And he's gone right over there in the corner, but he's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's chuffed anyway. And he looks great on camera. He's very comfortable on camera and he's a big future ahead of him. And the director just was very clear about what he wanted me to do and uh, it was great. And of course my co-star, my pro the Carl who played my son Shane, first time out, oh my God, that boy's got a future. He's really, really good. I think Carl done very well. Um, Carl took the role very, very seriously. And I was actually surprised uh, about his performance because when we were doing and reading over the script, he wasn't putting any emotion when we were reading and doing rehearsals. And I was like, hold on, Carl, you need to, you need to do this. You need to express it. He goes, I'll do it when, I'm, when I'm, the camera's on me. And I'm like, no, you have to do it now. He's like, no, I'll do it when the camera's on me. And when the camera came on, he proved me wrong. He actually done it. He actually put in emotion. And James walked with him as well. How relevant do you feel this film is compared to nowadays? Um, I suppose it's like pulling off a plaster really, it's a, it's a bit to the bone, like uh, it's a kind of a what if scenario, like if certain things that are happening nowadays play out in a different kind of scenario that could someday be reality, it is kind of a scary thing, but I think that's the whole purpose of the film itself, it is to get people to kind of take a look back and kind of go, oh crap, that, 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 it, it, it just give you that, those shivers of, because people are so used to seeing things like this happening in movies, and I know it is a movie itself, but I think for many, many people it'll be highly relatable. For this production, I suppose, initially I helped you write the script um, and grammar check it and, you know, rewrite some sentences and stuff like that. Then we printed off all the scripts and I suppose we helped Carol to get into the character and the mindset of that character Shane. I suppose I was basically just like admin, I suppose, printing off stuff, getting stuff ready, driving to and from locations, getting props, all that kind of stuff. I think the highlight was literally seeing the whole like the whole thing was just seeing what I wrote down on a page what started off as just an idea and then it just it came to life do you get me it just came to life and that people are actually interested in helping me make this 
we all have a passion for it. We all want to do this. Even if you're a cameraman, you're an actor, you're a producer, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Everybody, we all have the same passion in that industry and we all just want to come together and do it. And the makeup was spot on, it was perfect. And I, I was looking for a certain look and Sarah done it, she was perfect for it. And um, so I think the highlight, like the highlight of this whole film is when we were in the room, when we were filming Carl and these scenes. And I wasn't expected to be, like, basically we were tearing up and Nicola was tearing up. And at one point they were so good in it that she made Carl cry and Carl's face was red. Oh my god. If I got the tears going, I Yeah, she sat crying in front of me. <laughs> Uh, she sat crying in front of me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was intense. Like, uh, that was intense. What the? I love, I love this so it's much. It's good. Very I good. I love this so much. That was a good thing. Oh my god, that oh, probably. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> right, while you're like this, we're gonna do your shots oh up close. Please. Oh my god, this is this is perfect. If she can make Carl crying, like two or three other people in the room, she's gonna make an audience cry. It's perfect. So we're gonna be getting D in more productions of ours as well and we, we can't wait to work with her more and more. Thank you. You're welcome. Perfect. Perfect. Hey. That's got one more. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. Thanks very much, Nicola. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much, Greg. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Greg. Thank you very